So now we're going to set up instancing uh, for Unreal using this system. And let me explain what this means. Right now we've uh, copied to points, which seems what we're doing instancing. But when we look at the static mesh, the whole thing is being brought in as one big piece of geometry, uh, which is not very efficient and um, could be done better. If we go to the copy to points node, all we need to do is click this pack an instance button, and that will have a huge impact on how that uh, is set up. So if we go save to pop, save populate, we go back in here and we do another rebuild. Now after we rebuild it, uh, instead of one big piece of geometry, the, the little cube is going to be brought in as an instance, uh, and then it's going to get instanced within the uh, Unreal system. So this is a lot more efficient, and because of that, we can actually take advantage of it to replace the little cube with things within Houdini. So for instance, I could take this prop brush, bush rather, bring this over, and um, maybe change its size to, I don't know, 0.25. Uh, 0.25 and 0.25. So now we're instancing the bush instead of the little cube. So the cube, in a way, was just a stand in. And once we had it in here, we were able to replace it. Now, if you press the plus sign, we'll now get two of these. One of them has been scaled back up to 111, but we'll fix that in a second. And we're going to replace that with this rock. And by putting more than one object here, what happens is uh, we're getting sort of a random distribution of the rocks and the bushes uh, within the system that we built here. So it creates a nice sort of, um, you know, nice way to build up a little environment. Press play, uh, and there we go. So we've populated this uh, with a combination of bushes and rocks. And you see that the sizes of the elements are still being affected by the P scale and the orientation that we set up before. Now if we add one more element, uh, let's go up to the uh, level prototyping meshes or material meshes and let's bring in the chamfered cube. And um, it just thinks about it for a bit and then it goes blue. Uh, let's go 0 0.4, um, 0.4 and maybe just 0.2 in that direction. There we go. So now if we save and we press play, you'll see that we have three different kinds of objects instanced around uh, to create this little garden of bushes and rocks and, and blue cubes. So there we go. Now let's go add some new features to enhance this tool.